here to appreciate their efforts. I'd like to thank you all so much for coming. We fit, I think, a perfect day. Yes. The weather gorgeous. Sun's cooperating, the clouds are cooperating. Thank you all so much for bringing the food that you've bought. In this case, wonderful. We have a wonderful new booth over here. I thought it, it, it's such an interesting uh, crowd here. I thought we'd take a moment to uh, enjoy the place here. I don't know if all of you know what is going on on this farm, just in the, what we can see here. But I just think it's wonderful to point out over here in this bare ground that's just been recently killed. We have Akio Suimatsu's pumpkin area. Plants are probably going to go in pretty soon. You can see it's been spreading more manure. We have we have new beehives here. They're still busy going at it. Light, you'll notice they're live bees. That's so right there on the sign. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have cigareba uh, grapes here on the on the hill edge, and just over the edge of it is Brian McWhorter's uh, row crop. You can see from even this point all three separate fields of Akio Suimatsu's raspberries. Uh, the berry in front is where Karen Selvar plants often corn. You can see the grape vines over here. Um, yes, yes, we have wine from this land. Isn't that wonderful? And Betsy, what are the grapes right here? Those are Madeline Ashby. Madeline Ashby in the back. Way over the, the last hill, the Pinot Noir. I just think it's wonderful. I think it's also important you can see piles up there that is part of what Occhio does to produce compost to return nutrition to the land. All such important concepts about how this whole place works.